All right, I got some 600s I got to clean up for Dave. Let's put them on a 454 big block tunnel ram. So I got the kits for them. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm putting them together. The kits was 29 bucks a piece. The sun's out, so I'm working outside today. Check it out. Yeah, Ernie made us this a long time ago. Thing works like a champion. Clamp it, clamp it to the porch. All right, this is a bowl before you clean them. This is a bowl after you clean them. So clean them up real good and polish them. No shine. All right, our first kit, brand new. Putting it in there. Bowls. Got the bowls all clean. Brand new needle and seat. First carb is done. Just gotta tune it. All new needle and seat. Just set the floats. All right, got them done. Just got to turn them. Start it. Number two, start it. Start. done on the trailer right now dad's just rolling some paint over top of the paint we sprayed everything but this and we thin some of this rust-oleum black out and roll it on and look at that fender and this fender yeah look how good that looks and then versus that Justin one just tried a little bit of it and i was like hell we think the wood's gonna soak up too much so we might have to do house paint on that wood i'm gonna see how it does yeah watch this shit come on watch this See, it has all these weird bubbles them, and stuff in it. Them little bubbles in it. It does the same damn thing when you're spraying it. It'll get that weird look to it, and this shit will lay right down. Kind of like, uh, like it's bubbling off the surface. Yeah, it's like it's gonna fish out like hell. When you paint it, spray it, it does the same damn thing. You'll think, well, hell, there it goes, it's gonna fish out, and then let it alone for a minute, and that shit will lay right down. Look at that. Hit that spot right there. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna go right there. Okay. All right, we fixed the ramps for the trailer. Yeah. We measured 57, 57 dry that to- 16. Dry that 16 foot. And these ramps go up there and they fold up like that. So Justin's like, we can probably cut that, notch that thing out right there. We're gonna take this leg off right there because these things are heavy shit. And ain't gonna bend them. So we just half cut that bad boy right there. And Perfect fit. Yeah, you want to get the car off there and move the trailer? Yep. Going nowhere. They wedged themselves in. Yeah, wedged in there, so there you go. <laughs> Just like that. Cut that piece off front and take about another 25 pounds off of them. And uh, there you have it. They'll still slide, just like always. Mm. 
It's gonna be awesome. And it ain't gonna be as steep as this is right here. The front of the trailer's down. Yeah. We, can, we have a trailer hooked up, we can take and crank a jack a little and get a little level on it. But now the 57 feet on there, all of them fit now, so. Yeah. Dude, we thought we were gonna have to make ramps. Maybe we tomorrow. We still extend that thing out and put our golf cart back here once we get it built. Yeah. Our 75 horse nitrous to sit the golf cart. <laughs> Look how smooth that laid out. See that? <laughs> yeah, it's just drying out. Yeah. And that way you can pull forward, brake lights work, turn signals work, and just, we'll just pump these tires up. Mm -hmm. Ready for the race 30th. Yeah. It's coming on quick. Hope everybody's thrashing. Everybody's, there's a lot of cars supposed to be getting done. You boys better be hammering it because it's going to come fast. Yeah, if you say you're going to be done in time, be done in time. Yeah, get her done because you're going to have to get on it because I'm telling you, it will creep up on you. Next thing you know, it's, uh, it's even if you got to come to the track and fix it. <laughs> yeah, see, we take a track and fix them. <laughs> Justin learned on the track, so bring it on. If you, ain't, if you ain't drove it, just bring it anyway. That's what Justin does. Yeah, I had to learn driving down to the yeah. staging lanes. Yeah, reach down there and get your big set and come on. <laughs> ain't no better place to learn than. 2,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> Crowds everywhere, They're fans. All cool, I understand. Guys are people, guys are people, man. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna say shit. They'd be all right. Bring but, it on. If it ain't painted slick, you know, man, come on. Yeah, Bring your primer. Yeah, primer. Just get it down there. Make your pass. Primer's finer. That's right. <laughs> Nothing finer than primer. Up. Yeah. Sign up and line up. Come on, let's go. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> or mini bike. Where is yeah, it? You can do anything you want to. Yeah, golf cart, mini bike, it's just totally universal. Fat Google. girl, whatever. Huh? <laughs> fat girl. No, we ain't putting no fat girls on these trailers. No <laughs> fat girl. We are anti-fat girl. Circle with the slugs. I don't give a shit. We like got to paint that. I'm painting that somewhere on the car. A fat girl outline with an X to it. <laughs> I'm putting it on there. It's happening now. I put no hens allowed on turkeys. <laughs> yeah, Turk run no hen. He got rid of his car now. The no hen car is gone. So. Oh man, I'm putting that on the car. I'll put it on the 74. <laughs> I'll put it on the back. I got a Mustang emblem upside down on the dash. Kind of like I do with, uh, one of them ghost, uh, the Ghostbusters thing. Yeah. Got her head stuck to it. <laughs> no, it's all good with them. We just don't like them, so whatever. No fatties. Uh -huh. I ain't having it. You know, you know what you want to go with. I just ain't what I want. That's why I'm buying the fucking self. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. If I can't have what I want, piss on it. I'll do that. It's like a car. If you can't yeah. have a car you want. If you can't fix it the way you want it and have you want it, if you're really interested in driving, to hell with it. It ain't just a ride. It's fucking for fun. So if you can't have one you're interested in, it looks good, piss on it. Walk. It makes no difference. So I'll just do it that. You keep them too nanny. You keep them fattens. I don't want them. Hate as as you want to. I don't care. <laughs> I don't I'm not, care. I'm not trying to make anybody mad. I'm sure it does. You did. <laughs> well, whatever. Just kidding. Hell. No, we no, we ain't. I could be all dogged up too and have a good body and all that shit, but I don't really care about finding one. I don't give a shit. I got my girlfriend right there. Yeah, OBP. She's been with me my whole life. Yeah. She never left. She don't look for a better deal. <laughs> she don't cheat. She don't cheat. She don't give a shit. She won't go with somebody else just for the night. And no matter what, she always looks good. Yeah, she always looks good. She looks Her parts wear out. You can replace them. Time. All I gotta do is hop in, get the key in. She's ready to roll, baby. She don't mess around. Ain't no, you know, six days a month, she don't have to park it. Girl, it's ready to roll. <laughs> <laughs> this one leaks oil a little bit. <laughs> they got it oil leak. leak a little bit, it's not nothing bad. You know, you can still race it with a little leak. You, know, you don't get irritable, don't get pissed off. It ain't moody. It don't back talk. No, it don't say nothing. It's all good. Mm. She sat right here forever. She sat and waited on me. She can go out and come back, go to work. Mm -hmm. Not paying no attention, she's still good. Once yep. you pay some attention, she'll pay attention back. So. Awesome. I shouldn't talk like a shame on the me. It's all funny. I'm just having fun with y'all. You take it too serious. You don't need to be around us. Too damn serious about life. <laughs> too damn sensitive. Too sensitive. Take damn sensitive pills. That's so funny. I'm putting that on my car though. You'll see. It'll be on the car. I'll draw it up tonight. <laughs> It'll be white. With like the bathroom, it'll look like the bathroom symbol for a female, but it'll be a wide one with a strike through it. Like a what? Like a bathroom. I'll just get a picture to copy this one, I can put them together. Right, see this? Can you see this photo? This is old Asheville Airport drag strip. Used to run right up through here. It says mountains. 
The mountains in this picture, exactly the same. Yeah, they used to come out here and drag race, so I told Dustin, I said, them hilltops ain't changed, and there's a picture on there in 1966 where they were running out here. This is the old National Airport all up and down through here, and I said, we'll go out there because the mountains don't change, just like Bristol, Tennessee. You can tell by the mountains, I don't give a damn how many things you change, you're not going to change God's work. <laughs> and that right there is the same spot. So they were going from here to there. Yeah. And we'll ride down yard and turn around and look, and there's some humps over here, but it ain't nothing like that's it right there. Yeah, that's it. That's what I was telling Justin, everybody letting the history, everybody's worried about the history of Iceville and all this shit. Stuff like this you don't hear nothing about in Iceville. They shut it down in 1970 because everybody was coming out here. It's kind of, it wasn't a racetrack, it was an outlaw track. They just come out here and run. And they called the police on them. They said they were ready. They had three different runways and they said there were cars on all three runways running. Nasty cars too. You look at the pictures. They some mean blown cars, all kinds of stuff. And they gotta be some pictures. Somebody's got some pictures of this stuff somewhere. I don't know where it's at, but Iceville's gotta have some of it. But all the history in Iceville. They're worried about the Biltmore House and all this shit. This right here is important too, and nobody don't care nothing about it, and that's ridiculous. This is this what's is more important. Damn history, <laughs> racing, or anybody else, and which is a big part of Ice. There's a lot of people here at racing stuff. They don't know nothing about this stuff. It's been out here a hundred times, and don't care nothing about it, and that's ridiculous. It's just as important as the Biltmore House or any other. I think it's more important. Put. I don't it's care about the Biltmore House. Breweries. It's more important than anything. But if you're, if you're a car guy, you'll understand this right here is how you get a picture. Now, this is a damn spot where well, they was in 1966. <laughs> well, we're going to ride down through there? Yeah, we're going to ride down here and look. Well, we've been coming out here and doing burnouts with a truck. And go-kart and go everything. Go-karts for damn. Colton learned how to drive his go-kart out here. We'd come out here and play and skate. The boys are skating before we come out here and start doing burnouts with a truck. And then got Colton's go-kart, and he started doing burnouts with a go-kart out here. Been coming out, I've been coming out here since I was probably 12 or 13, and the first time I ever come out here was, guess who, in bad company, Sonny Chapman's Willis, because I was the first one started working on that silly thing. <laughs> and I come out here to bring all this stuff, bad company two, and one, come out here to bring all this stuff for the Willis, the second Willis he got, and my quiet billet, which is right out here at the end, and I brought all this stuff out here, the first time I ever sent me on a rollback, calls in his rollback to bring his slicks and his rear end, all this stuff out here to put under that bad company too. <laughs> Sunny Chapman, well that's part of history right there. <laughs> we ought to bring 57 out here and park it as close I, I, as you yeah, can. I'm park it like right here. And, and duplicate that exact picture. But now that we're in the truck, you can probably see this picture better. You got, you got a picture right there of the Dixie see? Twister. That's the real Dixie Twister, the first Herbert right Platt, the Herbert Platt original, not the replica you see, the original. Yeah, the original Herbert Platt, which is a piece of history. You see it right there? To yeah. the mountains, and then That's there they it. are. There it is. It's the same knoll. <laughs> and you can you can put all these buildings up here and all this and for park and all you want to, but you can't move that. No. And you never will. And it'll stay the same until I'm dead and gone. And long after. Long after. It's been here a long right. time. But you got to document this stuff because it's it just real as it gets. And I seen that picture in 1966. You don't hardly ever see any pictures about it. And then there's a picture in the paper that I'll post up there also where they shut it down in 1970. Yeah. And they moved. They made it. To New Asheville Airport over here. There was a dirt, a dirt landing strip up here at this airport. That's right over here. See how straight side. this is? Yeah, look down there. Here. See what I mean? You can see why people was racing over yeah, here. This is where down there's so much shit went on here. I don't mean people drive in down here all day long, year after year. They don't know what this place was. They don't have a clue. And you go all the way down here again, it's Mike White. One of the best chassis builders anywhere around here. It's ever been. Love Mike White's cool. And this is his place all the way down through here. That's the old uh, dirt airfield. 
airfield down through there. I think that's the old dirt airfield right there. Where it goes all Yeah, down. it looks like it. See how long? It's all cleared see out. See how long, straight and flat that is? It goes all the way down through yonder. If you get down here to Mike Watch, you'll see it still goes down through yonder. It goes, I mean, it come all the way up through here. Huh. I'm pretty sure that if you look on the aerial photos, I think that's the dirt, land, dirt airfield right there. There's still the police department, I went from stuff to them, that's at the little old building down there where they keep the helicopter and stuff like that out here. So look at this right here. And everybody's interested in the history of ice. You ought to be interested in the history of the history. This is where we was going to do our, uh, yeah, right take, here. our take off for the uh, New Year. Yeah, and then this is where we're going to do it. Then I come out here and did my truck for the gear show, sent all the pictures in. That's where it's parked sideways in the road and right here. We used to ride that go-kart up down through here. Justin flipped that go-kart up through here. <laughs> yeah. You go back and look at the video. It's all taken right out here. Mike let us come out here and have a good time. He let the boys skate. We come out here and send up ramps and stuff down here in this old building. Skating our ass off. They did, I did. We had fun. We used to do that all the time when it wasn't hot rod. We put not doing no hot rod. We skated day and night, day and night, cold, summer, whatever. I was just with the boys out for that little wagon riding around skating. This right here is part of the reason the land is built. This right here. This is where the new burn is still going on. If you look at some of the aerial photos, there's a building right here. They both dated this. I tell you what I'll do. I'm gonna come over here and ask Mike White about it. We get on camera and I'll find out exactly all this shit. He knows all of it. Yeah. He's the one that knows. I'll come ask him what he's over here. Mm -hmm. we'll, get, we'll, we'll get the story on this whole deal. Yeah, I, man, you get out here and race hell with this. Yeah. You. And you think it looks short, but you get down there and take off, it's fine. He wanted to trailer his car over here and just blast it a couple times. <laughs> It'd be fine, man. You can get out here and hit the shit out of it. It work up. Mike does his. Mike gets that pretty good hit. Little Michael's going burn out there. Special thanks to Tony. Dad's under drilling right now. Tony sent us this velocity stack. Even signed it for good mojo. Sent us one of these multimeters. Thank you, man. That's very cool of you. I'm gonna take a little body hammer and tap that thing out and put it on some bourbon. Yeah. If we can get it to clear without cutting a hole in the front end. <laughs> it's a tenth. A velocity stack is a tenth. Yeah. That's a proven fact. Yep. Bad penny calamity James. Tell them why. Tell them why. Why? Why? Broke it. Huh? Did you break it? No, I ain't no damn hammer. That drill's been around a long time. Yeah. 
We're gonna take it and fix that. Hammer out this spot right here. And round it back out. She'll work like a champion. And the reason velocity stack will pick up a tenth is because it slows down turbulent air. It kills the velocity. Slows it down, pulls it in smooth. This gains a tenth. She's been, she been around a bit. That is cool. You can't find these fun aluminum ones nowhere. Did anyone you run on your shit or mine? It don't matter. He said put it to use. I, everything I got is tunnel rammed. I can't run a single. The bourbon knows it over a little bit. I'm putting it on there. <laughs> well, we run velocity stacks on everything. Everything's got velocity stacks. Mm -hmm. I think, except, except the truck. Mm. Yeah, the truck's got one on right now. Huh? Not this one. Oh, yeah, this one ain't. You can't tune a carburetor without taking that damn low profile breeder off there. It sucks. <laughs> I think it might clear. You huh? can put one of the small breathers down in it. I won't, I won't, I'll, put, I'll put the big one on it. I'm going to suck some mean air. <laughs> but yeah, we got him to sign it for good mojo. Yeah, that's good mojo, man. That's a lot of trouble just to that thing. That's cool. Yeah, I like the box. What? Hot rod alley or bust. It made it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Check about it. Put, Hot rod out of your bust, don't they? Yeah. He's, he's a guy that had that F-250 with the inline six and the we 650 think, holly. I think we're dead. What, them birds? Fucking buzzards. They're circling around here. Do I look dead laying here or something? No. Well, that's why he'll eat me. <laughs> what could they see? They probably see somebody's hot rod that ain't running. That thing is dead. They left. It's a spy bird. No, there they are. They're coming back. They ain't circling over me. I guess I'm still alive. Probably found him a dead cat or something. Probably hunting the Easter rabbit. He's probably over our head going back. Oh, yeah. Day is Easter. Yeah, happy Easter. Be sure and hide the Easter egg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a hot girl to help you. <laughs> there they are. But we putting the ground, kidding, putting the ground on the Suburban, and I got the ramps fixed. This buffing wheel hook this trailer. We're going to have this trailer set up before we can take it to the track and do anything on it. And when we get back here, We'll be able to put our vise on it, and we're going to make a little table hook side of it where we get back here and beat and bang. That'll be a little construction area. Yeah, a mobile build headquarters. Yeah, mobile build headquarters. <laughs> be able to put all the shit on it, take it right back off, stick it in a suburban, a suburban and it'll roll off. Away she goes. Away she goes. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. Here's our super Chevy tent. <laughs> yeah. We did not test, but it said we'd work. That's pretty big, huh? Yeah, it is. And now we we know we can put it up. We'd be living like royalty, man. A couple of couple of chairs, we sleep on this one. Yeah. Pretty cool. Thank you, James. That's awesome. Yeah, James Morgan give us this. Yeah. I think we ain't never put one up. It's kind of tricky. You can probably back on then. <clears throat> That's what Dustin's talking about. Pull both cars nose to nose. Yeah, and then we can live in the center. He put caught the truck on your sideways. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you, James. Yeah, yeah, James. That's awesome. We hadn't even put it up. We've been waiting to get some space for it. We didn't know how big it was. It was pretty big. Yeah, he said it was big. big it was. He said they used to take it where they had that drag bike and they'd stay under this all weekend. They put it up and do everything out from under it. Yeah, that's a good reel to get right there. <laughs> awesome. I've lost your stack in a tent. Yeah, and it's officially skulled because, see that block holding up one of the legs? Yeah, it's got a short leg. <laughs> Shit, that's bad ice, man. That's top notch anything we got. We can hang our flag right there across. <laughs> yeah, we can hang it on the inside. You know what them pro boys do? Hang it from side to side where it's hanging out. Yeah. Remember getting there and have a little fucking cook out. Put a little cookie thing in there. Have a little cook, eat one with damn well. Goes food. in that one boxer. Yeah. Just fold right up, makes a little pieces. Makes one big beast. Awesome. Okay. All right, you gotta fix wiring before it gets dark. Cool. I got him sidetracked when I started putting this thing up. Well, he can't put it up by It's not a one man operation. He can't put it up by himself, but I like to see him do it. He, well, he's had it for a few years. Uh, I'm probably, sure he figured it out. He'd get a little finesse, but I don't want a man to struggle that damn thing. 
He said he used to do in sections. He'd do the back half, drag a tarp over, then do the next part, drag a tarp over the next part, then put all the legs up. I know y'all done it before, so I know y'all probably good at it. Maybe he had a ladder with him when he did it. If you had a ladder, you could do it pretty easy. That's cool shit. That's a lot of shade right there, man. Mm, nine minutes later, gone. <laughs> gone. One more step ready for Super Chevy 2016. Yep, our tent works, but our lights don't. <laughs> We've never done the trailer's wired right. It's my dumb ass on the damn truck part that's fucked up. I've got something back at the truck. We're going to check it right now. Well, I'll do it one time. And it's See, raining. that's what I was talking about the other day. It, it's, it's like the skull way to just have to redo it. It's raining hot right now. Oh, yeah, we put the tent up, it starts raining. I know. All right, let's see if we can figure these lights out. All right, trailer lights update. Uh, we got a big spotlight out. We got trailer lights now, hooked up to the truck. What happened was dad did them backwards on the uh, input where it comes out of the truck right here. Set right there, wire, little harness. He did them all backwards. So they was on opposite sides. But now they're all back fixed, and now we got them. And turn signals, that's what we're doing right now. These bulbs are bad. These lights that have been on this trailer for God knows how many years, they're bad. So, Dad is putting in new All right, back here at Dustin's house. He is up here taking off the old fuel pump. Tempting. <laughs> Attempting. Yeah. We got all the fuel line. He ordered everything, which is awesome. Great job, Dustin. He ordered everything at one time. It's all here. Not bits and pieces over weeks. And I got the fuel cell in. See, fuel cell's in. Fuel pump is mounted. There's the lines. Yeah, there's supposed to be a filter between the uh, fuel cell and the fuel pump, but no one around here had one. So we're gonna plumb that in afterwards. It's got a filter up here next to the carburetor, so it'll filter it enough. It's a brand new fuel cell, there ain't no dirt in it. But there will be one of the old Fram style removable fuel filters right there in between. But for now, this will work. Just gonna run the line up to the brand new regulator. Not the regulator. Now I'm just gonna run some wire back. It's in there. All right, we got everything plumbed, all the fuel lines done. It's all working. Put gas in it. No leaks. There's the pump. Thing lined up. Wired the fuel pump to a toggle that was already in the car. Got to run up. Our, this is just temporary the way the regulator is. It's going to have a line going off to a fuel pressure gauge. We didn't have a line. And then this just goes to the carburetor, but we got to run to a fuel pressure regulator. Because whenever you first pull the regulator out of the box, it'll blow through the roof the pressure wheel. Because they're not adjusted and they'll blow your needle and seat out and flood the carburetor and your motor. So. We will flip it one more time. Hear that sound, folks? <laughs> That's fuel. We should probably put more gas in it. It's got 14 pounds of pressure. Awesome. All right, no leaks so far. Not going to work. Gear swap, 2557 in today. And Dad got some new lights for the trailer. Yep, yep. LED, we're going big time. We ain't messing around. LED. That's all we had, so that's pretty much swayed with the dude. <laughs> well, good.
I need me a tag for that thing, so I'm taking a tag racket off the Monte Carlo. You know, it's got the spring on it. Uh -huh. And put it on that bottom of that fender right there. If I hit something, it'll go. Sweet. Sweet. No Monte Carlo is donating another piece. Tag. Nice tag, you know. Yeah, it is. I ain't got no tag to put on. I don't need one. No. I just figure if it ain't got a tag bracket, you don't need a tag. It's going away well, outlaw. Outlaw. It'll be fine. Shows it well. That's putting gear in, 557. Yep. Mark right. Maynard, appreciate it. Mark yeah. my words, check him out on uh, Facebook, YouTube. Mark my words. Is that his place? Yeah. That's well, cool. That's his thing. He had uh, been seat racing, and they took it off because it wasn't named him. They shut him down on Facebook. <laughs> His name's Mark Maynard, good guy. He's been hot rodding his whole life. Got, got a some, bunch of Chevy 2s. Got some best Chevy 2s you've ever seen. I've got the meanest four-door I've ever seen. Just a real guy, real good dude. He's been doing it forever. he got gray head like the rest of us. We're still rocking this shit. <laughs> He's a good dude, though. Check him out. Mark my words, Facebook. Check him out. Go. So, that's what we're going to do. There comes the fluid. Come the fluid out. Josh has to all bolt us out, cover's coming off. Mark wanted us to do a full video on this thing. He thought that gear was going in the 57, but I told him we done had some five eight sixes in there, so we're putting them in this to go girl right here. I thought he knew it was going in there. He he just said he thought he thought, no big deal. Uh, he said give full coverage. There it is. We're putting her in here, Mark. He's going in. Good mojo for Mr. Mark right there, boy. Mm -hmm. We just talking about that smell. You can't never get over that gear oil smell. Oh, it stinks. I think every mechanic smells like gear oil most of the time. Usually you drop the shit right straight in that so much you splatter it everywhere. All right, lockers almost out. Talk to the camera. These mini spools, you have to finesse them. That should be just right. Keep coming. All right, carrier six can come out. I'll let it come out. Mini spool. They all have to come out a certain way. But well, mini spools, everybody gives them shit. They're pretty damn tough. They're real tough. Colton busted everything out of the sun, everything with a mini spool. Never broke a mini spool, but tore everything out. Yeah, he did. He hit hard on stuff. Colton was a rear end smashing son of a gun. Gonna get this off. I think I might have to use that same little shim plate there. Mm -hmm. Probably gonna have to use that same shim plate. The one that's in it. It's oh, got a shim plate. The exact same damn thickness, I bet you. Mm-hmm. I don't think the one you got said no thickness. Yeah, we never use a new crush sleeve either. We pull it out, leave the exact same shims on the back, just put the new pinion uh, the new pinion gear in and shim the ring gear to match that. Smart. Then where your bearing goes in your your uh, your pinion gear, you want to clean up that pinion real good where that bearing will slide on and off. You can check your sheet. Well, the new one's got the new bearing already on it. Oh, does it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, then install. Mm hmm. And redo steps one, two, three, and you're done. Yeah, we don't ever mess with shim in the back half, the, the pinion we kind part. Of do it, we kind of do it our way, but it works just fine. We've done, yeah, they don't make they done, don't make much noise. We've done several of them. <laughs> and they ain't broke yet, so <laughs> nitrous launches and 6,000 yeah, RPM launches. Right on all kind of shit. We're good. But all right. Damn. Right. Somebody knows what they're doing with my damn truck. That's somebody's probably got 13 damn thousands of damn lights. Terrible. <laughs> it's like cash and cars. That's a crazy angle to say, but. Well, I've seen where they said in drag cars they put more lash in them so that the oil gets on them better. Gets in I between guess. the gears better. Like, like 12. Plenty of oil in it. It's got lash to be damned. <laughs> We do between five and seven. Well, yeah, turkey about out rubbing it one time because they had too much fucking lash. <laughs> we gotta get that damn Vega out, son. I'm waiting on yeah. your ace. Blower motor in the yeah. Vega. Blower yeah. motor going in the Vega. The blower motor in that Vega. The battle boat's gone. You bringing that Vega out that little lightweight. That blower. I'm bringing it on. Bring it on. Make ain't sure you fix scared. the suspension. Ain't nobody scared. You better get it where to take off. So I like to tell you because that big white one right there's waiting on you. It's gonna be black. Yeah. You ever see a truck outrun a Vega? Wait and see. <laughs> That's going to hurt. That's going to sting. <laughs> you heard it, Turk. Get it ready. Yeah. Carriers out. Laying right there. 488. That's how you know it's 48. Because <laughs> it says it. 
Uh, gear's going back in for the, about the sixth time. Fifth time. Hunting them down, hunting the, hunting the lash. Been at 12, now at 11, about 10, down to 6. Should be at 6 right now, so we're just checking it. Oh, stretch out. You know what it is, how it is, how you got to do this two, three, four times. If y'all have done them before, let's take it up there and show them where the shim and shit is. Ain't no See, here's your shims. Here's a shim right here. See, that's a shim. They go beside the carrier. That carrier sits in there. You got your uh, ring gear right here, and your ring sits right here, and your pinion's right here. Your pinion is the front of the small one. Got your ring gear right here. Okay, you got your carrier. That gear has to move this way or that way. These shims will move it either way. Mm -hmm. If y'all done the rear before, you know all this, which they don't need to listen, but the ones that ain't never done it, these shims right here is what moves it this way and that way. Yep. So you got to shim it this way or this way to get your backlash. Your backlash is how far, it, like when you, you move your gear back here and hold the, hold the pinion and move your ring gear and how much it moves to touch. It's got to be between five and seven. Okay, anywhere in there. 10, 11, or 12, and it's going to clank and make noise and raise hell. So we're shooting for about six, and we get about six, and we'll put some paint on there and shade and check the gear pattern for a hill. I'm not checking the See, gear we're, pattern. Yeah, we're going to put some I'm paint not on checking the gear pattern. If it gets five, between five and seven, I'm locking down, putting the cover on, I'm done. We're going to put paint on and show you. You'll see. Yeah, we will. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> there you know, indicator. Right? Zero down. Five. 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 That's how far it is to take. Five. One more five. Oh, I just moved the whole thing. Five. We're good. Five thousand work. Good enough. It's probably about six, five or six. It's close enough. <laughs> he said he's tired, ball. I think my legs are tired, ball. He said he ball up, ball. He's too tired to work, ball. Getting too old for shit, ain't we? I'm getting too old, too cramped. Yep, well, it's in there. Uh, 557 installed, Mark. Yep, yep, yep. It's easier, the hell's easier to tear it apart than this, put it back together, because it's tedious as hell putting it back. You can just yank it apart. <laughs> it's all good, though. We'll be back in a minute. We're going to put the mini spool back in there and give it up and 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 up <laughs> All right, 557 is in official. I had to grind that pin set pin. I had to grind the flat spot so it fit because it went through the gear. Where's this go? Hold on. Shoot. I think it has a tendency to kick up a little dirt over now and then. Kick up a little dirt. It's a real gasser. It's filthy. That's what damn real car looked like up under it. Oh, ain't no pretty girl. Big girl. She's a big girl. Gone too far, cause you know it don't matter anyway. <laughs> you can rely on Now I'm gonna put the cover man. back on it. You can rely on my old man, it cause she's a bitch girl. Put the cover on and then put my fluid in a container and put it back in. My oil. But yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Probably the toughest one I've ever done. Easy. That should come out pretty easy. This is a fellow's name we got from right there. Yeah, it's Mark Preston. I've been saying Mark Mayer. I don't know where the fuck I got Mark Mayer. I'm sorry, dude. The fuck's stupid. Mark Preston. You gotta look over me. I'm, I'm old. <laughs> Hey, uh, ain't it funny when you get old, dude? You can blame all kind of shit on being old. Anything fucking happens. Well, I'm old. Grab some girl's cute ass. Ah, oh, he old. He crazy. He, he can't help himself. He don't know old shit. He be all. He don't know no better. <laughs> yeah. He don't know no different. He just trying. He just get me touched by boobs. <laughs> all right. I'll put this cover on. We'll tune back in here in a second. The gear is in. Cover's on. Just gotta put the fluid in it. And it's. Springtime, we're wearing coats again. <laughs> it won't go away. <laughs> it's supposed to be 30 degrees. Mm. It ain't been warm all day. Terrible. We're so tired of this mess. We want warm weather. 
Well, there's my red. I'm going to do my dash. This little center section here. Set it across. I'm going to do that red. It's tight into my doughs. Yep, it's filthy again. I cannot keep this car clean. Nor do I really care, but still, I can't keep it clean. I got gold metal flakes splattered on everything. But door panels look good. When I do that red on dash, it's gonna look real good. I'm gonna do that right now in a second. That piece of wood was filmed, get your 57. What piece? That piece was on the wall. No shit. Please. Piece of damn shit. Frick my damn bad penny, motherfucker. Ding, my old girl. It didn't hurt. Take two. these geysers. I don't hear no whining. What's the date? April 30th. April 30th. Be there. Y'all come on down. We're going to have a good time. Come see us. Come hang out with us for a day. Oh, well, Calamity's ready. Patty Jane. Huh? 557 in it. 557 in it. Install. Thank you, Mark Preston. Hats off to you. And hats off. Tip the hat, Mark Preston. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I need to do my dash red. Yep. Well, tomorrow will be a prettier day. Must be 64, 65 tomorrow. I hope so. Huh? I hope so. All right, that's a wrap. See y'all tomorrow.